Hi folks, well I've got a treasure chest of Insta360 goodies in front of me. I'm not going to do unboxing videos for everything, I just, in this video, I just want to show you exactly everything which has arrived and what the potential uses for me on a motorbike might be. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because I will be um, reviewing and putting most of this stuff through its paces, so tune in. Okay, so I might as well start with the jewel in the crown, which is this. It's the Insta360 Go 2. Let's see if we can get the focus on that. There you go. Um, so I've already come up with... <laughs> I know you're probably thinking he's got another camera and he's already having huge troubles with the cameras he's already got on the motorbike. But I've actually come up with a few ideas of how to just use this on board a motorbike. So... We'll be putting that through its paces definitely first of all over the next uh, few weeks and then I have one of them which is the uh, motorcycle mount. Now I also have one of these for the um, the Insta360 ONE X2 and it works superbly, it's rock solid even when I've got the selfie stick uh, stuck out the front of the motorbike that little grip locks absolutely rock solid so great things about that. Now something which is quite often overlooked uh, when we're using action cameras is the ND filter kit. You can get these for GoPro as well as, well I can't believe that they're doing ND filters for the Insta Go 2. That's amazing. So um, briefly what you need them for is when you're out on a sunny day, stick one of them on. There's four in there, different ND strengths. Uh, and in layman's term they allow you to reduce your shutter speed um, uh, which means that gives you that beautiful cinematic motion blur. So if you're out on a sunny day and you're using an action camera and you don't have an ND filter on, uh, things like when you're riding past trees, uh, for instance, they'll look as though they're stuttering and it's all very horribly video, if you know what I mean. So that correct motion blur with the uh, ND filters and indeed, like I say, there's four in that little pack. So. I'd be experimenting with the different strengths of them. So I'm delighted that they have come. Uh, lens guards for the Insta360 Go 2, just in case I'm not using ND filters, I can uh, always use these to protect the actual camera itself. So um, I suppose, um, actually I'm gonna tell you now, one of my uh, ideas for the Insta uh, Go 2 is to use on the new bike, which still hasn't arrived. Um, six month waiting list for it, the Honda CRF 300L. So rather than taking the GoPro out on uh, front of my helmet, which could be quite heavy, especially if I'm stood up and bouncing around, as I'm hoping to be doing, uh, on the dirt, uh, rather than having that weight on the front of the helmet, that's what I have in mind for the Insta Go 2, to sit that on the front of the helmet, um, so you can get that POV point of view shot looking forward, and having the three Insta360, God, there's so many words <laughs> the insta 360 one x2 on the handlebar mount i just showed you uh, um, uh, to have that doing all of my uh, other shots so obviously i can choose the looking forward shot i can choose the shot looking back at me the other thing about that is if i've only got the insta go 2 on front of the helmet um, the, it won't be blocking my face like a traditional gopro would you know it is a, a bit obtrusive sometimes the gopro I'm not going to get into the GoPro versus Insta360 argument again because that was in uh, one of my previous videos recently. Uh, so take a look at that. Actually, on the note of um, uh, putting the Insta Go 2 onto my helmet, now I'll be using the Scorpion, the ADX helmet. Um, so there's the chin mount to enable uh, me to do that. What's great about this chin mount, and I've looked this up, is that the sides on the chin mount, they, um, they're uh, flexible. So they can mould into the shape of the helmet rather than just sort of sitting there and being stretched by the straps which it comes with. So um, I look forward to using that. Now, one thing for every motorcyclist. A pet strap mount. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. <laughs> I don't intend taking any of my dogs on the back of the motorbike just yet. So I think we're all right with that. Ah, this is interesting. GPS smart remote. I wonder, come to think of it, I wonder if I can configure this to fire the Go 2 and the Insta360 ONE X2 at the same time. Probably not. 
But that would be lovely, wouldn't it? If I'm riding along and I just press one button on the handlebar and it fires both cameras up. <gasps> now there's a cameraman's dream. Um, okay, what else have I got here? Oh, this is great. Utility frame, because if I'm put now, this isn't for the one, the Go 2, this is for the 1X2. So if I'm putting the 1X2 on the dual sport bike, um, I will definitely need something like this just to protect it against the elements. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to feed the audio adapter into the uh, side of the camera with this mount, but I shall find out. Um, if I can, then that would be an incredible bonus because um, I'd love to feed the radio mic sound from my Scorpion helmet into the Insta360 ONE X2. Because as far as I know, you can't feed sound into the Go2. Not yet, anyway. Uh, one thing you can do, however, because the Insta Go2 has a built-in memory uh, and not removable SD cards, it's, uh, the, the version I've been sent is a 64 gig, so it'll hold a decent amount of footage, even though you can only record a maximum uh, using the Pro Mode in 2.5K, so not even 2.7K. Now, um, I can't wait to test the quality of this camera. I've read lots of great things about it um, and uh, I'm just looking forward to getting grips with that. So if you want to offload the footage into your phone, you can do with this because this is the uh, quick reader. So you can download the content uh, on board the Go2 straight into your phone, delete the hard drive and then start again. So that, that would make great sense. Um, Mount adapter bundle, that's good. Can't wait to start playing with things like that. You can never have enough mounts, same with the GoPro. Never have enough mounts for all of these action cam things because uh, invariably, it, it, in, I certainly um, end up ruining a lot of them and um, forever snapping things off and uh, whatever else. Uh, just been sent another quick reader as well, so two of them. They must have heard me talking about breaking mounts and everything. <laughs> so, so just in case I break one quick reader. Now this is interesting, vibration dampener. I'm sure you've all read by now, the problems mounting your phone onto a motorbike can have, especially if it's got uh, optical stabilization in the uh, phone, which iPhones have, and a lot of other sort of Android phones do now because the camera systems are just incredible in them. But to get the stabilization, one thing these phones have is something called a floating lens, and it literally is that. So the lens element floats inside. So if you're riding along on a motorbike, uh, the vibration sometimes destroys these phones and you know yourself some of these expensive phones can cost a thousand quid upwards so vibration dampener here now i know this isn't designed for the phone but it's the same thing with action cameras especially the one x2 and especially if i'm going to be using this um on a dirt bike so that, that i'll predominantly use the one x2 on that rather than the go to because uh, that's so small, like I said, uh, I'm pretty much going to mount that on my chin anyway. So very interested to see that Insta have released a product like this. Very interesting. And then, of course, to carry all of this treasure chest, a little carry case. Although I suspect, I suspect that's just going to um, uh, carry the camera and a few of its uh, immediate uh, accessories. And then if one um, selfie stick isn't enough, get four. Um, I don't know why I need four selfie sticks. All oh, those different extensions and uh, carbon extension modes. One thing to bear in mind actually with the go to is that it's not a 360 camera so you will not be able to get rid of the selfie stick in the go to footage like you can on the one x2 footage because it's only about 180 degree view and that's if you shoot in pro mode however these will be good because i know there's a, a range of sticky mounts there somewhere as well uh, um, uh, the, uh, these little things will be good to stick on my helmet or whatever and angle the camera down towards me if I wanted to get a shot of my face. Lots to play with there, lots to experiment with, lots to review and lots uh, more videos to bring you about all of this stuff. So once again folks, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do because I'm going to have great fun with this little lot. Um, huge thanks to Insta360 for sending me all of this. Um, now my disclaimer is this and I've told them also. 
Um, I don't get paid by Insta to make videos and my views and my opinions are my own, good or bad. And I've been as transparent as that since I started Motovlogging and I shall remain true to that. Thanks a million for tuning in folks. Dave Perry, Wheelie Good TV, over and out.